Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the very first cruise line to come out with it's what it says it's going to do while the virus was going around is the very first cruise line that is set to make regular cruising happen again. Way back in April, Genting Cruise Line, which is an Asian cruise line who often get mistaken for Norwegian Cruise Line. And you kind of can tell, you know, by the colors of their ship. The designs are kind of similar and the, the bright colors on the side kind of remind you of a Norwegian Cruise Line ship. But Genting Cruise Line is mostly located in Asia. Uh, they are very popular there. And they came out in about in April with what they said they were going to do. They were the first ones to say they're going to stop the buffet and they're going to have servers going. They were the first ones to come out and say they're going to have hand sanitizers everywhere. They were the first ones to come out and change all the air filtration systems in their cruise ship. They were very proactive and working with the government officials in their area immediately on safety protocols and what they're going to do. And they have been cleared to cruise already starting this month and that's right a large cruise ship their cruise ships hold over 2,500 to 3,000 passengers and they will be making sh short trips right now four and five day cruises out of Taiwan to local destinations on or on one of their ships immediately the best thing about that is we're going to see a cruise ship out there we I know we have the one in Norway but right now it's going with like two, three hundred passengers. These are going to be going with a thousand or more passengers. And so we will be able to see exactly what happens and we can monitor the situation very closely and they can test their different procedures, what works, what doesn't. And it will give another idea to all the cruise lines out there about what's happening. So that's really great to see somebody starting somewhere and Genting Cruise Line I call it Genting for some reason but a lot of people pronounce it Genting I'm not sure which one it is somebody can correct me down below but the cruise line was very very positive in saying that they had worked tirelessly with their group with the uh, safety council there the the virus protection agency all the local authorities and the local ports and the local governments and the federal governments in that area they worked with them almost immediately once the shutdown happened and they were working to come up with these procedures and like I said they announced those procedures way back in April and so they have been cleared by the governments to do these cruises and they say after about 30 days or so with that one cruise ship going they're looking to start their other two cruise ships shortly after that and their other cruise lines are watching this and going well maybe we'll be able to do the same thing uh, but on the flip side of that a lot of our North American companies like Royal Caribbean and the Norwegian Cruise Line have actually pulled some ships from the Asian market and are bringing it back to North America to the high profit Caribbean, Alaska cruise area, even the Canada, New England, it, it, it just doesn't seem to be drawing the attention that they were hoping to get in the market with the new ships that they were building. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Genting Cruise Line once it launches. It's launching in a few days. So hopefully everything goes really smoothly. And it's really nice to see the cruise line actually come out and thank the government officials for working so hard and closely with them from day one. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so that's so far two places that are getting ready to start opening. The EU has given the clearance for these are the guidelines for cruise ships. They haven't said you can start cruising yet, but they at least gave them the guidelines. So if they need to change some things on their ships, they can work on it. And like I said, the Mediterranean is looking like it's getting ready to try and open. And the EU is opening up its travel to 15 other countries right now, including Canada, to allow foreign travel into those countries. A lot of people are saying, Don, 
hey, you can go to Europe right now. There's a few places. You're allowed to go to Spain now. You're allowed to fly into Greece now. You're allowed to go to Britain. Are you going to go on a vacation there? Well, maybe I'll have to do another video on that one because there's some things that uh, you should know before trying to plan any kind of travel anywhere. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.